How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take a look at the base under my play set that I put in the backyard here. I've heard many of you ask questions about what I used, how I built it. Um, again, this is how I did it. And there are a few improvements I'm gonna to make to it, which I'll show you by the time when I did it, um, there were some lacking materials and I wanted to wait till some stuff showed up in stock. So um, I'll show you what I did. And if you have any questions about this specific setup, how I did it, um, or anything more than what I'm talking about here, put them down in the, the uh, comments below and I will make sure to answer those as quickly as I can. I will also add Amazon affiliate links to some of the products that I bought to build this. Um, remember, if you guys buy things with these links, I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon, but it's of no expense to you and it's a great way to support the channel. So I appreciate it. Let's go take a look at it and I'll show you guys what I did. So first off, let's take a look at the perimeter. We're gonna take a look at the boards I used. So on the outside of here, you'll see the four by six base that I used um, to put the four by six on the ground. I did dig in a few different locations where it was high, but a majority of this backyard was flat. So I laid it along the perimeter I believe this one is 24 this direction and 28 in this direction. So again, 24 by 28 is how I made this. It's a little bit smaller than what was recommended um, from the supplier, or I should say the supplier, the kids craft manufacturer. When I show you around, you'll see that there's plenty of space for the kids to, to fall down around if they're gonna fall down and there hasn't been an issue with that. So as far as how I secured this outside basin over here, you can see my shadow pointing. Ooh, shadow, look. So as far as how I secured this base, in the corners, I used galvanized fasteners rated for green treated contact because it says green treated lumber. Um, and then I used 12 inch long concrete stakes, which I drove into the ground and put a screw in to maintain it in place. Um, I then used rubber plasti dip to cover these so there's no sharp edges and the kids can't hurt themselves. So it seems to hold up really well there so far. <clears throat> and in the middle, I planned on putting a plate over the inside and the outside to hold it together, but they were out of decking plates that I was going to use. And I didn't want to use stuff that wouldn't corrode or um, destroy, get destroyed from the element. So I'll go pick some up here. Hopefully the house is in stock when after I built this, they didn't have any and I just haven't got back there yet. But the intention would be to put plates there. But what I did do is I put some long screws in this way at angle to each direction on inside and out to hold it in place. And it hasn't moved. moved. You'll see that there's a little bit of a crack here from where it dried. Um, when these are really wet when I put them down. So, so far, it's working really good, and I don't have any complaints with the outside base. You'll see some spots, um, like there, it's a little higher in the middle where wood's dried a little bit and kind of tried picking up um, or settled in the ground more. So as far as the rubber itself, um, I use the New Play Rubber Nuggets. This is the earth tone color, and uh, so far they've held up really well. We'll get you a little closer look here. Take a look at it here, you'll see um, it is pretty good size. I'd say, you know, most of the chunks are, you know, compared to my thumb, or you know, inch, inch long, you know, half inch wide. Um, a lot of it's pretty good sized stuff. There is smaller material mixed in there. Um, and again, I did about a, you know, a, I'd say around the more critical areas, that's definitely closer to four inches. Um, we'll dig down here a little bit with the, my shoes so you can see, but it's a lot deeper. I mean, I can get down here to, right there's the, there's the textile down below, but it's a lot deeper in those areas. So that's kind of, where we're at with that. So as far as under the mulch, again, I'll show you the, the down below here in the description, the link to it. But I used a very heavy duty geotextile fabric um, to keep the separation of layers here. It's not your typical landscape fabric. It is a, um, it's meant to be used for things like gravel and such, or you'll in this instance rubber mulch to maintain that separation, to smother out the weeds and to uh, also allow for drainage the important thing here is when you're buying the fabric like the one I have down below, it is a permeable layer so it allows water to transfer through and drain down to keep things dry. So far this hasn't been an issue. We've had a great, we've had really good luck with the drainage. Um, I didn't do any special digging for it. It just seems to drain out on its own. Um, there's a little tiny, tiny bit of slope. And again, you'll see with the base, it's not exactly perfect. Some can probably drain underneath of it, um, but that's what we did. And to, to stake this down, I used some metal stakes, which again, I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting those. They work really well. Keep in mind this fabric's pretty tough and you may have to puncture a hole with a little utility knife to get it started. But then after that, they go in the ground and stay really well. It's really well, good, really good fabric. So guys, I just wanna make a very short video just to show you this is how I made my base for the play set. I try to keep it as low cost as possible because you know you don't wanna spend a ton more on the base than you did on the play set. Um, I think I had around $1,000 wrapped up in this all together. With lumber prices the way they are now, these four by sixes are gonna be very expensive. Um, and the rubber mulch is around like five, five to six bucks a bag, 20 pound bag. 
if you went with a non-colored mulch, you could do different things. But again, the new player rubber mulch does a really good job here so far. It's a year into it. It's holding its color really well. It doesn't get hot in the summertime really, and it doesn't have a rubbery, it doesn't really have a rubber smell unless it's like 100 degrees outside. And you'll have a very faint smell, but it's been great and uh, hasn't been getting in the yard unless the kids are throwing it there, which is a bigger thing. That's not the mulch's fault, it's the kid's fault. And, um, and yeah, it's been, you know, the kids have fallen a few times and they haven't gotten hurt and it's been a great experience so far. It doesn't deteriorate and I haven't had anything to it yet. So again, this is how I built my base. I wanted to make a very short video just to show you that. So if any of you guys are interested, again, the stuff's down below for product you can buy. It's worked really well for me a year into it through a really cold, really cold winter, wet winter, wet spring, dry spring, really dry summer, and things have been holding up. So thanks again for stopping in today, guys. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Put some comments down below. I'd like to hear your feedback or if you want to know more about what I did. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not a part of the YouTube family. Thanks again for stopping in. Until next time, this is Kyle signing out.